the cause of the rise in mental health issues and mood disorders in the United States today may actually blow your mind as this is unexpected and this is actually a new theory that I have on this. I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a doctor, so if you need help, go to a professional. But I want to share my story, I want to share my experience and how this subtle thing impacted my life and the root cause of my mental health issues were not actually based on events that have happened in my life. And we're not based on trauma. But we're actually based on a specific nutritional deficiency. And it is not a deficiency of B vitamins. It is not a deficiency of magnesium. The media always talks about those nutrients. It is not those. So let's go back to the beginning. When I was a newborn, I drank normal milk for the first three years of my life. When I was around four or five years old, I got switched to plant-based milk because the milk in the U.S. has a lot of hormones and it was being demonized. So my parents were like, let's give our kids plant-based milk. I am short now. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. No, I'm joking. Okay, so I started having vision issues and in kindergarten I had to get glasses, which is an extremely young age. And most people were like, oh, this is probably genetic, like your dad has glasses. But my vision was three times more advanced than my dad's. And my grandparents didn't have vision that was that advanced. But my brother did. So something wasn't adding up. I was like, is this genetic? Or is there something that my brother and I are both experiencing differently than my parents did? And that would be that we had plant-based milks. My sister, on the other hand, did not have this issue. So I, I think it could be partially genetic. So maybe she wasn't predisposed to that already. This is um, just my opinion on this. So basically, I probably did not have enough calcium for like at least 17 years of my life. I probably got like three to 400 milligrams a day when the recommended was 1,000. And then um, I became vegetarian in my first year of college. And I started eating a lot more leafy greens and tofu and having even more plant milk. So I felt actually really good during that time because I increased my level of calcium. Great mood. And then at some point I started eating meat again and I had stopped having plant milk. I stopped having protein smoothies. I barely ate any dark greens anymore. And I barely ate tofu because tofu was being demonized now too because of the estrogen, um, the high estrogen levels in tofu. So... I was probably getting 100 milligrams of calcium per day for the past four years. And the daily recommendation, like I'm pretty sure I said already, is 1,000 milligrams per day. I was getting 10% of the recommended, recommended amount of calcium per day. So if you can't tell already, the nutrient that I'm talking about here is calcium. Calcium is responsible for allowing, it's basically the building block, or basically the building blocks of your entire body are derived of calcium, your bones, your neurological function, your vision, your gut health, everything is built on the foundation of calcium. And um, I was pretty unaware of this since dairy was, like I said, extremely demonized in my household, which this is the case for many, that um, I had to replace those nutrients with something else. And now, here I am, I figured out that lactose-free milk exists, so I started having that and kale, and within the first day of doing this, I felt a 180. My mood was much better, much deeper sleep, um, just much more emotionally balanced. My nervous system is much calmer now. And if I were to take antidepressants or other meds, then I would have actually masked the signal that my body was giving me that something was missing. Obviously, those medications do help some people and are necessary sometimes, um, but in other cases, your body is sending you signals that, um, that something is off. So, basically, my theory about the mental health issues 
in the United States, in conclusion, would be that, so, well, f one, the U.S. added tons of hormones and chemicals to the milk in the U um, across the states. Number two, the milk became demonized. Also, 70% of people are lactose intolerant, too, so it's much harder to digest it in the U.S. A lot of my friends that are lactose intolerant, when they go to Europe, they're able to digest the dairy over there. So, they added hormones, it got demonized, and then people started drinking less milk. And then, um, calcium deficiencies, which um, are very subtle in the beginning stages. Um, someone may not know that they have a deficiency until they begin to um, begin to develop osteoporosis and more intense neurological issues like seizures. And even then, um, the calcium deficiency isn't caught sometimes because there are other things that could be causing seizures and stuff. So it is crazy. And the key is to find a good source of calcium, whether you find a good source of dairy that is clean and free of hormones or you eat those dark leafy greens but um, yeah it's really easy to underestimate the amount of calcium since the recommended is literally like I said a million times 1000 milligrams so yeah that was the cause of my depression guys um, unexpected but it's nice to know, like, it's that realization that there's nothing wrong with my body. Maybe there's nothing wrong with you. Um, there's just something missing, something missing, you know. And there's so much misinformation from natu some naturopaths. I'm not, like, anti-naturopath or this, this, this. But so many naturopaths, like, told me, don't eat dairy and, like, demonized it. And that honestly led to a lot of issues for me. And I have had some great naturopaths, too. So just take everything with a grain of salt. But there's so much misinformation too on the just everywhere. So the internet is not like the best source for these things. And it's a paradox because you're watching me on the internet. Yeah, so if you want me to make more health videos like this too, let me know. This channel is mainly philosophy videos. Um, I'm going to keep making those too. But a big part of spiritual actualization is to have a balanced nervous system and nutrition is a part of it so you know it's all connected i hope you guys have a great night great day wherever you are much love namaste